Wow, what a month September is turning out to be for Palantir and Palantir investors alike. So many exciting things have already happened. And of course, tomorrow on the 28th of September, we are expecting to hear about that almighty NHS contract. I've said before, the announcement may get delayed if a final decision hasn't actually been reached, but still we are expecting to hear very, very shortly. But just yesterday, we heard about a new deal Palantir have with the army. So I'm on the US Department of Defense website where the official announcement was made, but I actually received the news on Seeking Alpha, just here. I use this platform for all of my latest uh, Palantir, Tesla, US stock-based news. Super quick, super useful. I'll leave a link in the description below if you do wanna check that out. But let's just take a look what this new contract's all about. So Palantir was awarded a $250 million contract. Yep, you heard that right, $250 million contract. And that is even more impressive when you look at the estimated completion date, the 25th of September, 2026. So that's just under three years, which means that this contract is worth just over $80 million per year. I think it's about 83 million. So that is incredibly big in terms of revenue. And you can see it's a firm fixed price contract. So what that means is um, that basically this amount of money has been confirmed and approved. So whether Palantir need to put extra resources, extra hours, the contract expands, uh, contracts, <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is the amount of money that has been agreed and this is what they'll get paid. So let's just take a look what this is all about. So it's a contract to conduct research and development services in the area of artificial intelligence and machine learning. That's super interesting because for a long time, Palantir has been branded as just a consultancy firm. I think that we're past that. I think that given how integral Palantir are becoming in so many different businesses, not just on the commercial side either, uh, government organizations for AI specific things, I don't really think we can say that they are just a consultancy firm. But this is also interesting because let me just go to this tab here. Just the other day, we saw that Kathy Wood from ARK Invest has been selling huge amounts of Tesla shares. You can see here, 55,000, just short of 55,000 Tesla shares were sold. And what does she buy? What's she been buying? Palantir stock, lots and lots of Palantir stock. And she actually quoted that they believe Tesla is the best AI opportunity that there is out there. I don't think that she's necessarily changed her mind and now believes Palantir is the best AI opportunity and Tesla is not. She's rebalancing, she is managing large amounts of money on behalf of clients. I don't think that her opinions change, but I do think that this suggests that they also believe, like me, like re other Palantir retail investors, that Palantir is also set up to be one of the main beneficiaries, the, one of the main people, companies, sorry, that will benefit from AI, because that's the way the world's moving. And I do think that Palantir will be one of the biggest AI opportunities along with Tesla. I don't really know much about these other companies that she's buying or selling, but yeah, I do think that Palantir is very much an artificial intelligence company and they are one of the most valuable ones out there so far. Alex did, Alex Karp, I say as if I know him, Alex Karp did an interview very recently where he was saying that there's lots of, you know, ch basically chat GPT is what I got out of it. There are lots of pieces of software out there that can write poetry and can write you really nice essays, but it's the ones that are able to transform a business that will be truly valuable. And I think that's what Palantir are doing. So going back to this contract, I think this is significant for two main reasons. Firstly, it's a hell of a lot of money. That's obviously very, very good for Palantir as a business to add that sort of revenue. But also it's very interesting timing wise, isn't it? Because we are just now one day out from that big NHS contract, which let me remind you if you've forgotten is worth $600 million. So it's a massive, massive contract, but it's even, you know, money aside, it's super important for the global expansion and what it means for Palantir as a business to be working with an organization like the NHS. Now, I'm really excited to hear about this tomorrow. I'm obviously buzzed. And if it goes well, I'll be really, really, really excited. But I do have a bit of a bit of concern because in the UK, our NHS is a very prized and a very sacred topic. And a lot of people don't believe that a US company, which they're terming as a spy company, should be integrated into our NHS because they believe the US will have insight into personal data and they might use it for the wrong reasons, etc, etc. There are actually big campaign websites against this. 
So I'm a little bit concerned that the contract won't go through because of the skepticism and what, you know, the uproar that that may have within the UK. But I guess we just have to wait and see. And it will be a shame if it doesn't go through because I believe that Palantir are the best option for the value that they can bring and how they could absolutely, you know, change the NHS and it needs a lot of help. But if that doesn't go through, I think that it won't be that they couldn't do the job. I think that it will be more about the problems that it may cause within the country. But going back to this contract, signaling wise, this is quite important because it's basically showing that a large amount of money is being spent on Palantir to provide value. You know, Palantir is able to provide enough value to warrant a $250 million contract over just three years. That's pretty big. And this isn't the first contract that the Department of Defense have made with Palantir either. So clearly the previous ones have shown such value that they're happy to continue to make new contracts with Palantir because they see them as being so valuable. And obviously all of these wins demonstrate Palantir's growing importance to the global defense community in general. This contract is obviously sitting on the government side of the business rather than the commercial side of the business. If you don't know much about Palantir, it's basically split up into the commercial side and the government side. And it's interesting, this is from um, the Q2 earnings report. And what you can see is that, yes, the government and the commercial both grew really, really well. Maybe not as well as people had hoped actually, but anyway, the, the government side of the business is, in terms of revenue, is a lot bigger. And this new contract will just add on to that to grow it even more. And then we saw the weird and interesting news over on X here that Joe Thompson, was appointed the position as a mixed reality product designer, which seems a little bit weird. Why would Palantir appoint someone to that position? But it's super interesting because this came just days after Alex Karp did an interview here, where in his background shot, he had some sort of headset on a figure. And I don't really know what's stew in here. This whole interview was about the government um, side of Palantir. So maybe that leads me to believe that they are developing a headset for government use. I'm not really sure. If you've got any thoughts on that or insight, do leave them in the comments below. But definitely something is going on here. There's no way they would have this sitting in the background purposely of an interview. Like this has been placed. And then we hear that they've appointed someone to a new position. Also watch this interview if you haven't already. Alex Cart made it very, very clear that they are out to embarrass their competitors. Super juicy interview full of really, really good information. And then we've got the stock. It's currently um, not, the stock market's currently not open for me right now. It looks like it's gonna go a up a little bit in pre-market, but this news about this new contract, this big $250 million contract, didn't really change the stock price um, at all, to be honest. I was expecting it to have a much larger effect on the stock price, but that's the point, isn't it? We never really know what's gonna happen with news on the stock. So that's why I just try to completely dissociate the noise and the news from the stock price. I don't really care about the, you know, the movements of the stock every single day. I do like to try and buy when it dips a lot, but the thing that I'm focused on is, are the companies that I'm investing into going to be intrinsically more valuable in the future than they are today? What are these companies working on? What are they doing? What have they already achieved? And so what I've been doing is just buying more. I've been accumulating Palantir and Tesla quite a lot, as my Patreon members know. If you wanna check out my Patreon, I'll leave a link in the description. I also have YouTube memberships if you wanna support me on there too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some value out of it and I'll see you in another one very soon.